Beckisley. As for Arsene Wenger's selection, Stephen Hughes comes in for the injured Emmanuel Petit in midfield. The commentary comes from Peter Brackley. Pala. Starting purposefully through the middle. Really good run this by Ray Pala. And very nearly squeezed it too to the embarrassment of Paul Musselwhite. One by Ainsworth. Andy Hill supporting. Got away too from Bold. Then in for Naylor. So close. Excellent support play from Andy Hill. Look at his determination here. Played in for Naylor. And he's poked it wide. Now Becker is only right upfield. A measure pass into the path of Overmars. Now Bell might be stretched. Overmars going right through. Oh, off the post. Out of harm's way to the relief of Port Vale and the utter disappointment and dejection of Overmars. You can't get much closer than that. What an escape for Port Vale. Corner. Sitting away from Parler. That was Naylor. And Ainsworth! What an opportunity squandered by Ainsworth. Rushed over the head of Naylor. There was no flag. And Ainsworth somehow could try to steer it over the top. A gaping goal in front of him. Squared off to Corden. Tank it on the overlap outside him. Still Wayne Corden. Now Bogey. He's looking for an inventive pass here at Bogey. Setting for the short one to Corden. Excellent play by Wayne Corden. Too long for Naylor, but there's Ainsworth! The cross was really travelling, but it was a chance. Look how he's escaped Overmars at the back post here. Struck on the volley, it would have been some goal. Two eyes on Dennis Bergkamp. Hughes alongside, but the Mercurial Dutchman will fancy this one. Here is Beckham. Was Keown offside? Won't count. Ian Wright ruled offside. Martin Keown. This is Parler to Overmars. Now Ian Wright. Great ball from Overmars. For the finish, not good enough from Ian Wright. He's furious with himself. Taken by Bearcap, aiming for Steve Bold, and then right! And Musselwhite just managed to tip it away. Great reaction from the goalkeeper. Bold with that initial header, and right so nearly hooked it in. Hughes. On side, Bohmorte. Bearcap in the middle! Desperate defending, and Tackford clattered against the post. Very brave, and very alert too. You see the arm raised their aspect, but no flag. On goes Bermorte, he's picked out Bearcat, and that was going in surely. Grimondi on for Bearcat. Always a threat whenever he's anywhere near the goal. And that's a fabulous strike. But Dennis Bergkamp, a goal good enough to win any match. What vision, what quality of finishing. It's worth, couldn't shake off ball. Run by Foyle. Ainsworth still supporting, played in by Foyle. Ainsworth. A chance, and it's there! Corden! 1-1, one, one, Wayne Corden has equalised! Arsenal's defence split open. And Corden was there. It's 
it's going to be Lee Dixon with a first penalty kick for Arsenal against Paul Muscle White. And he saved it. What a start for Muscle White and for Port Vale. Dixon troops dejectedly away. Not the best of penalty kicks, it has to be said. First up for Port Vale, it's going to be Andy Porter. The long-serving midfielder, faced by David Seaman, who of course saved the penalty for West Ham's John Hartson in the League Cup quarter-final. But no chance with that one. Now Ray Parler. Trying to retain his concentration. That scores, 1-1. Steps Gareth Ainsworth, who had chances during the game itself to beat David Seaman. Can he do so now? He can. Seaman put his hand to it, but no more. Two up the veil. Now the pressure is on Dennis Baker. A memorable goal earlier in the night. Put that one so accurately into the corner. 2-2. Two -two. Now Ian Bogey. Can he maintain Wales' momentum in the shootout? The hero against Everton a couple of seasons back. Seaman with a great save. He guessed correctly. And it stays at 2-2. Luis Fermorte, next up for Arsenal. Three, two. Now, Dutchman, Mark Snyders. Composing himself against David Seaman. It's there. Three apiece. It's Stephen Hughes for the next penalty kick for the Gunners. The young man who came into the side tonight. That scores. Alan Tackett. Responsibility on his shoulders now. Facing England number one. Oh, he's missed it. It's all over. And Arsenal are through to the fourth round, but only by the skin of their teeth. Oh, such disappointment for Port Bell. It's surprising, it's surprising that they uh, uh, stand where they stand because for, for me they did very well in the two games. But we, we, I think we had the chances to score, but they had two great chances in, in the first half. And uh, after we maybe should have won it in the second half, but uh, they did very well. To take a side like Arsenal, with all the tremendous players they've got, right to the wire, I thought it was a tremendous performance by the players. It's a sad way to finish a game, but you know. <laughs> it makes heroes out of some people. <laughs> yes, and David Seaman and Arsenal very relieved, no doubt. I mean, it really was close, wasn't it, to Kevin? But Arsenal have got through at a cost. Yeah, I mean, Ian Wright, uh, hamstring injury, that could be two and a half, three weeks, could even be six weeks. It's minimum three weeks, Kevin, isn't it, that? It is, and if it, usually if it's in the middle of the hamstring, it can be longer. If it's at the top of the bottom, usually it can be three weeks. But uh, I've, had, I've had hamstrings that have gone on eight, eight, seven, eight, nine weeks when I played. So. One thing it does mean is that Nicolas Anelka, the young French guy, the 18-year-old, he's going to have to, well, he'll have his chance, won't he? The chance he's been looking for. He will, and maybe even uh, Boa Vista, whatever his name is, because he came on and did very well tonight as well. So there's no shortage of people to put in there, but they haven't got another Ian Wright. You and a, you know, a final word for John Rudge and Port Vale? I thought Port Vale came out with tremendous credit tonight. That was a real classic cup tie, and they were very unlucky. I think Arsene Wenger summed it up. He's relieved to be through. He certainly looked relieved. Thanks, Kevin.